Hey dudes and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple DVD using DVD Styler. This is an updated of tutorial for my old one back in 2013. Uh, let's open DVD Styler. Welcome to the welcome screen. You can check the box below. If you don't want the welcome screen to pop up every time you uh, open DVD Styler. Let's name the DVD as a Beach Party. I'm going to choose DVD5 since I want this to fit a single layer DVD. If you want to use a dual layer DVD, you can choose DVD9. I'm going to choose NTSC since that's the region I'm in and 16x9 since that's the source video. But you can also choose 4x3 if you want to. And I'll leave other of the, the other settings um, as is and click OK. Since we're going to make our own DVD menu, we're not using a template. But if you want to use a template, you can choose from here. Click No Template. So first off, we need to add a video to the DVD. So let's go to Add File. And let's choose this one. So first off, we need to uh, give the menu a background since black isn't really a great color for a menu. So let's double click, change the background, click the ellipsis, and let's go to the pictures, and I'm going to choose the wood background. And let's uh, check the loop because DVD Styler has a bug that uh, somehow needs to be fixed that the menu becomes just gray, a gray static. So we need to check the loop just to make it work. So click OK, and ta-da. Now that your uh, DVD menu now looks like this, so let's make a button. We can choose a button if you, as you wish, but I'm going to choose a very simple way to make a button. Just go here in the title and drag it to preview. So that's the button for this video. You can do that for all the videos that you will put into the menu. So you can resize the with the button as you wish or you can double click to go to the properties and let's change the look of the button so first is the Im image or video you can choose image if you want to put an overlay an image example I'm going to choose an image choose the pictures let's choose a random picture let's check it and click OK as you can see it's been replaced by a picture but since it's not related we're going to the video and click ellipsis and we can cha change wh which frame you want it to preview click OK if you're satisfied so next one is opacity we're going to leave it as is since I, I want the button to be 100% uh, opaque so the RX and RY determines the corners how rounded they are so I'm going to leave them as zero and the border width, how thick the border is, of course. I'm going to change it to 7. You can add a shadow if you want to, but I'm not going to. Next is border color. I would want the border color to be white. I'm going to change it to be highlighted in color orange. And if it's selected, I'm going to change the color back to white. Let's click OK. And as you can see, the corners are, you know, sharp and back in 0. So, Let's add a text. Right click and add text. So we will use a uh, beach party since that's the DVD. Click OK. Now we want to change the font of this because it doesn't really fit. Plus it's too small. So double click and choose font. It depends on comp depends on how many fonts you have installed in the computer and how laggy the font selection is so I'm going to choose um, I'm going to choose a very beach font I'm going to choose a rock salt I'm going to choose regular and I'm going to choose 48 and these uh, other, other options are not really important but if you want to strike out or underline also this color doesn't really matter since click OK this, this fill color we will write that so I want this to be white so I'm not going any any changes you can make other changes to the opacity the outline color the outline width background color of the text or add a shadow 
and or change the rotation of the text. So click OK. Now, since we can uh, manually uh, align this uh, center, but if you want to be exactly to, to be center, you can right click and go to align to center of menu horizontally and do the same. Align center menu horizontally. Now I want it to be vertically. You can choose uh, multiple uh, elements in the menu by holding control and right click align the center of menu vertically. You can also drag a selection. Next up is uh, saving the project just in case DVD Styler uh, screws up. So we're gonna save the project by clicking here save and we're going to name it to Beach Party. Click save. Now we are now ready to uh, burn a DVD. So let's burn. So we have three options in burning. But first off, we can preview the DVD before we ever do anything about it. So if you have VLC media player, you can uh, download it and use that as a default player or the default preview player for this. Or I can choose a custom video player, which I use VLC portable. So you have three options. Just generate, create an ISO image or burn. So just generate just puts it into a folder that you can burn it later. Create an ISO image creates an ISO that you can burn later too. Or if you want to burn it directly, you can just click here, burn. I'm going to create an ISO image since it's more convenient for me and I could burn multiple copies easily in one file. So I'm choosing that as Beach Party with ISO in my videos folder and click start. And also I'm going to preview it using the VLC portable at start. It's gonna take a while depending on how long or how big the file is. Also, it's recommended to let DVD Styler do its own thing without doing anything other anything else on the computer, just in case. So here we are, the previewing using VLC a portable. DVD Styler will automatically uh, let you preview it as long as you put it on an .exe file of the app you're going to use. And here we go. Also, this is also a bug that apparently uh, it's blinking. It only if this is the only video uh, or the but the only button for the menu. And you can, if you're satisfied with it, you can close it and it will ask you if you want to create an ISO image of the video. Click yes if you want to or if no, if you want to abort it or not really satisfied with the preview. And hooray, generating was successful. You can click close if you want to uh, that. So that's about it. That's how to create a simple DVD menu using DVD Styler. I'm New Creator. See you later.